Hey guys, just wanted to show you what I just got in the mail. Uh, it's a brushless gimbal from eBay that I just got. Um, I believe it's the same one from Good Luck Buy also. Um, it comes with a strap right here for your GoPro. It doesn't come with a GoPro. And I just wanted to show you that it is uh, ready to install. It already has the firmware and everything on it. All you have to do is plug the battery in. So as you can see, it works oh, out of the box. Ready to fly, pretty much. This was 107 on eBay, shipped, and it's a US seller, so that's pretty good. And it got here fairly quickly, about four days. And I'm going to be installing this on my Iconic X and I'll show you that here in a little bit once it's installed. And here is the gimbal installed on my Iconic X frame. I'm just going to give you a close look on how I installed it. All I've done is glued the casing that holds the motor, the roll motor, onto the frame with Uh, disc glue E6000 this is really good it sticks really hard it's rubbery so it gives it doesn't snap or anything and it's a uh, industrial strength glue you can get this at Home Depot or Michaels or Lowe's it's this casing right here that's what's holding the motor that's right there and all I did is glue this casing onto the frame. You can see some of the glue right there. Okay, I glued it down here in the bottom. You can see that. And then on the inside, in here, and also on the other side. And these motors are pretty good, but they are not strong. Okay, what I mean by that is if you have a little binding on your um, wires, if it creates too much tension, the motors will not be strong enough to level the camera. So what happens is that, see that? It stutters, basically. So I had to do quite a few testing to make sure I'm not causing too much binding to where it'll cause the motors to stutter like that. So what I've done is I've looped the cables on the back of the camera, camera strap, just to make sure it's not causing any binding or anything. So as you can see, the gimbal works pretty well. No problems at all. It's pretty cheap on eBay. It's $107 shipped. And like I've said, um, it's all ready to go. Just plug it in and put your camera on and you're set. One thing, you just have to make sure that the center of gravity where you put your camera is even. Okay, 
what I mean by that is without power you want to make sure that this is able to stay leveled or somewhat leveled as close as you can without tilting too much on one side that way the motor is not fighting too much to keep it level okay that made sense And that's the gimbal board right there, right behind it. I have it sitting on a few pieces of foam tape. And here's a quick flight. Thank you. 